Hello and welcome to the 2023-2024 Program Monitoring Random Validation Phase 1 Process Training for Title I Part C Migrant Education Program. In this session, we will provide you an overview of the Title I Part C MEP program requirements. First of all, we want to share some things to keep in mind regarding this random validation process. Please note that documenting overall compliance for a program requirement may require several forms of documentation to be maintained locally and be available upon request by TEA and or an auditor. Another thing to note is that to ensure overall compliance with program requirements, LEAs should refer to the program guide and or other program related resources that reference the multiple forms of documentation required to be maintained locally. In addition, keep in mind that the documentation requested for submission during the random validation process may not include all forms of documentation that are required to be maintained locally. If meeting documentation is to be provided for any requirement, please consider the following. The standard meeting documentation that an LEA should maintain locally includes meeting agendas, meeting minutes, notes, and signing sheets. Please note that documentation for virtual meetings is acceptable. Given the increased use of virtual meeting environments, participant rosters that include the meeting title, meeting date, and stakeholder names and roles would be acceptable substitutes for the more traditional sign-in sheets. This eliminates the need of a participant signature. We want to provide some additional guidance regarding the documentation requested as part of the MEP requirements. For this year random validation for the Title I Part C Migrant Program, we would only be accepting documentation for the current school year to ensure TA is provided with adequate documentation to support the selected requirement. Identification and Recruitment, IDNR. Identification and Recruitment. The LEA identifies and recruits migratory children and youth, including adult school youth, according to the specific timelines and guidance outlined in the Texas Manual for Identification and Recruitment of Migratory Children in order to ensure the accuracy of such information. Migratory children eligibility requirements are defined in Section 1309 2-5 of ESA. Requirement 1.1, Recruiter Logs. The acceptable documentation for this requirement are a few samples of recruiter logs for the current school year. Again, the documentation requirement for 1.1 is a few examples of recruiter logs for the current school year. Some issues that may result in an improvement needed status could include the following. Audible documentation requested was not submitted. Documentation submitted doesn't reference the recruiter logs. Documentation submitted was not for activities taking place in the current school year. Requirement 1.2, reviewer logs. The acceptable documentation for this requirement are a few samples of reviewer logs for the current school year showing quality control took place. For requirement 1.2, issues that may result in an improvement needed status are the following. Audible documentation requested was not submitted. Documentation submitted doesn't reference the reviewer logs. Or documentation submitted was not for activities that took place in the current year. Requirement 1.3, Identification and Recruitment IDNR Action Plan. The acceptable documentation for this requirement is a copy of the IDNR Action Plan for the current year that includes quality control procedures for IDNR. For requirement 1.3, issues that may result in an improvement needed status are the following. Audible documentation requested was not submitted. 
Documentation submitted doesn't include quality control procedures for IDNR. Documentation submitted was not for activities that took place in the current year. Thank you. These are the requirements to the Title I Part C Migrant Education Program as it relates to priority for service. We hope that you will find this information useful. Here's our contact information. Please, please feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions.